Hey Hawkers, the boys face another huge test in round 11. This time we are going up against last year's runner-ups in the Brisbane Lions at Marvel Stadium. We will need to be at our very best, uh, similar to how we were playing in the first three quarters against the Power in order to overcome this potent outfit. So hopefully the boys will be fired up and look to bounce back. In terms of how both teams will line up, we will be getting some very handy inclusions. Uh, skipper James Sisley will return after a small stint on the sidelines after getting battered in the game against the Dogs, and Scrimshaw will also look to slot back in defense after serving his suspension. Uh, some other inclusions into the extended squad are Josh Ward, who has been in fine form in the VFL when he hasn't been playing in the seniors, Finn McGuinness, who will likely play a role in trying to shut down the dangerous Lucky Neal if any players pull up sore before the game. And Jack Gunston, who will most likely play out the full game coming up against a formidable key defensive brigade. We obviously need some height up forward and he will prove very handy beside Chol and Cal Shadir. Uh, among the omissions from the squad from the Port game, Nick Watson is going to be managed and probably play out this round in the VFL. And same with Jai Sarong, who has been dropped. Ethan Phillips has also been omitted down to an emergency after his debut last week. Now looking at how the Lions will be lining up, they are set to regain the services of the dangerous Zach Bailey, as well as a few other inclusions such as Brandon Ryan, who we actually traded to Brisbane in return for Jack Gunston last year. Uh, they will also be receiving a boost in their defense, uh, regaining the experienced Joyce, young midfielder James Tunstall, and potential debutant Henry Smith. Our defense will have a little bit of weight lifted off their shoulders with Eric Hipwood serving a suspension as well as Shadow Brain being dropped from the squad. On paper, this Brisbane Lions team is clearly better around the ground. Our defense will need to be at its best in order to contain the likes of Danaher, Charlie Cameron and also Kai Lohman who has been in fine form in recent weeks. The additions of Sicily and Scrimshaw will undoubtedly help with this. They will be able to play more of an intercept role with Danaher being the only proven threat in the air, and I assume Frost will get the job on him. The real danger in that forward line, in my opinion, is Charlie Cameron. Impey will probably start the game on him, but if he gets loose and kicks a few goals, then we will probably send Hardwick back as he has kept him quiet in many of our previous matches. Speaking of which, we have matched up insanely well uh, against Brisbane in recent years, which is pretty weird considering where both teams have been on the ladder. The last time they beat us was in 2019, which is actually the last time we were finals contenders, funnily enough. Uh, but since then, we have had the better of them. Admittedly, we haven't actually traveled up to the Gabba since the start of the COVID year. So a lot of those games have been on our home deck, either at the G or in Launceston. The fact that this game is being played at Marvel Stadium this time will provide a little bit more of an e even playing field. The Lions play this ground much better than the G, uh, but this year we have yet to lose at Marvel Stadium as well, so I'm very interested to see how we go. Main concern in this game, I think, is the midfield battle. We travelled very well last week against Port Adelaide's superior midfield, but Brisbane are just a different beast. They are currently second in the comp for total clearances and have some very dangerous players that will be hard to stop. Statistically speaking, the matchups in the midfield are pretty even, but it's not a stretch to say that their midfield core is a lot more cohesive as a unit. We obviously saw some really, really good signs against Port, but even in our previous two wins against the Saints and the Dogs, we were beaten in the midfield battle. Uh, we have seen a slight boost in our midfield numbers ever since the return of Will Day, but that has also seen a bit of a form drop in players like James Warple and Connor Nash, so I think those two will need to have really good games if we are to get on top of the Lions in the middle of the ground. Port's outside players were able to get loose a little too easily last week for easy chains, and Brisbane have the type of players who can carve us up with their run around the ground. Barry McCluggage and Fletcher and a couple of their other players that sort of rotate from uh, half forward to the wing uh, are all having really good seasons, so we will need to keep an eye on them as well. Normally for a matchup like this, I would tip the favorite or the team higher up on the ladder, uh, but we are playing better footy than we have in the last few seasons in recent weeks. And since we have got the better of the Lions when they were at their best, I think we are going to jump out the gates with a statement win and bounce back hard from last week's loss. I'm going to tip us by 15 points. Hopefully I haven't jinxed us, but I'm confident we can turn up. The Lions aren't at the same level they were last year, and yes, they are improving slightly as the year is progressing, 
but I think they're still vulnerable. They have a lot of key players out injured, and if we apply the same pressure and work just as hard as last week, there's no reason why we can't be competitive and come out with a win in this game. Anyway, that's all from me, Hawkers. A little bit of a short video today, but stay tuned for some really different style videos. Uh, we will be looking at what players we will potentially be looking at picking up in the mid-season draft, as well as going over our out-of-contract players this year, and who we'll be looking at signing on or looking at trading away. I hope you all have a fantastic weekend, and I hope to see a good crowd at the game on Sunday. We need to get around the boys and turn out to give them some confidence coming off of a tough loss. Uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you did enjoy. Peace out, Hawkers.